Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we have a traffic engineering problem. If you're taking the traffic or transportation depth, this one's for you. Uh, we're going to be talking about interrupted flow, and here's what the question it says. A 10-foot wide sidewalk is 80 feet long and has an average of six pedestrians waiting to utilize it. What is the pedestrian service time? Assume approximately 10% of pedestrians are considered elderly. And we see our four options available to us in seconds. So the trick to this guy is finding the right material. And the way that we're going to do that is look in the highway capacity manual, uh, volume three. So the, there's different volumes in the highway capacity manual. I think volume one is like concepts. Uh, volume two is uninterrupted flow. And then volume three is interrupted. And there's a volume four. I haven't done much digging into it, but uh, just... So that way you know when you go into the exam which volume you need to look into. You need to immediately identify whether it's interrupted or uninterrupted flow. So do you have traffic signal or do you have traffic signals? Do you not? That type of thing. So in this case we have a crosswalk. It can be inferred that we have a traffic signal. That's kind of the, the understanding we're going to have to stop traffic for this crosswalk. So it's interrupted flow. Uh, we need to look at equation EQ there, 19-64. Uh, That's where we're gonna find a lot of goodies here. And we're gonna look through uh, 19 to 66, or 19-66. And these are gonna be on page uh, 1981, dash right there, and 1982. Draw an and sign, 19. 82. All right, the good old years. So 1981, 1982. Now, uh, whenever you go to that, you're gonna find that uh, you're gonna find the pedestrian service time. So that's T. Let's see what they call it here. T P S comma D O is equal to 3.2. I'll explain this here in a minute. Plus uh, L D over S P uh, plus 0.27 n p e d dash d o all right now what in the world are these so this is your pedestrian service time t sub p s uh your l d is going to be your length of your crosswalk and then your s p is your speed of the pedestrian all right and so they give us a ton of hints in this problem it's such a short problem they give us a ton of hints that ultimately just make this a plug and chug problem so our length of our side or our crosswalk is going to be 80 feet. We need to keep that in our pocket there. Uh, our speed of pedestrians, we can actually look up, look that up. Um, it actually says that if you have zero to 20 percent elderly utilizing this uh, crosswalk, you can use four feet per second as your speed. So I encourage you to go ahead and check that out. Four feet per second. Go ahead and look on the uh, look at the the manual and try and find that because you you probably have to use it on the exam uh, and then our number of pedestrians utilizing it so np mped comma do this is going to be six all right so it gives that in the problem as well now you can kind of see how this is going to be chug, plug and chug now why in the world did i use this formula in contrast to another one well take careful notice to the wording at equation 19-64 and 19-65. The difference between the two is whether or not your crosswalk width is greater than 10 feet. If it's greater than 10 feet, you're going to divide, let me think here, you're going to divide this guy by WD, which is the width of the sidewalk. So um, I believe it's the width of the sidewalk. You divide that by WD, but since we're talking equal to, 10 foot wide sidewalk, this is going to be the formula that we need to use. So we're going to go ahead and plug and chug. I'm going to write this out right here in T sub ES comma DO. This is going to be equal to 3.2 plus the length of our sidewalk. Remember that's 80 feet over the speed of our pedestrians. That's four feet per second. Uh, we need to add in 0 0.27 times the uh, number of pedestrians. That's six. And so when we do that, the uh, T sub P S comma D O. So our pedestrian service time, uh, this ends up being 24.82 seconds. All right. Okay. And so if you look on uh, at our available options, it looks like this one's going to be a, 
All right, so I hope this video helps. Hope it clears some things up. We'll catch you next time.